Hi everyone, I'm Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, I love luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below and join us here. Um, I'm still a little bit sick at the moment, so I'm sorry if I sound terrible. If you follow me over on Instagram, you know I've been really, really sick. Um, and I'm still on the tail end of this terrible flu, but we will battle through because um, goodness knows how long it's going to hang around. Um, but today we're going to do a very special unboxing and I have been dying to do this unboxing. So sick or not, I'm pushing through. I really want to unbox it. So bags around me might give you a clue as to what we're unboxing today. Um, so we're going to unbox this very special piece that has a story behind it and then I'm actually going to walk you through all my Louis Vuitton Capucines collection so you can see them all. So let's have a look at what I got. So it comes in this box and Capucines come in very special boxes now and they've got the, um, the Fleur de Lis on the box which indicates that it is a Capucines. So let's unbox it. I haven't seen this in person and I'm really excited because there is a whole story to this bag. But nonetheless, it is here and that's all that matters. Let's open it. <laughs> so my sales associates are putting gloves for me. It's more of a joke now than anything because they know I'm not going to use the gloves. <laughs> and I got a little card. Oh... <laughs> um, so my sales associates have written finally life is a cap of scenes old chum so happy it's here and it's yours and then they've signed it for me they're so sweet but this is on the front of the card so that's Gaston who is named after Gaston Louis Vuitton if anyone is interested I am learning my history <laughs> Um, and then you get a uh, Capucines booklet. So this is a special care booklet that you get with your um, special Capucines. And it's exciting. Oh, it's very exciting. So in the bottom, there's a dust bag I've never seen before. And I don't often see things like that about Louis Vuitton that I've never seen something before. But there you go. So it's a dust bag. And it's got white embroidery on it. That's new. Oh, okay. All right, let's have a look. So tissue paper comes with a little Fleur de Lis sticker on it. And you may know what kind of capucines this is based on the dust bag. So it's an embroidered dust bag. And it's got a leather tassel on it. I'm very excited. Oh, it's so much better than I thought it was going to be. Oh, my goodness. So this is a mini cap of scenes. And it's in lizard finish. And this is called an oil slick finish. So... It's just this rainbow of colors and I'm really hoping this comes up on camera. So it just throws off this rainbow of colors. And I'll turn it around. And it's got light gold hardware, but because it's a cap of scenes, you really don't see a lot of the metal. It's just touches of it. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. And then we have oh, the strap, which is also in the same finish. And the inside is like a pewter silver color. But it's so pretty. So there is a story to this Capucines. So I saw this Capucines on the Instagram account 
of a sales associate in New York 18 months ago. 18 months ago, easy. And I screenshot it and sent it to my sales associates and said, oh my goodness, look at the finish on that bag. It is stunning. Um, so they did some hunting around for me. Um, it wasn't in our region, of course, um, but they um, tried and tried and then they um, pushed and it became and they were allowed to order it for me. So we placed the order and I paid for it and it was going to get made. So it was going to be one that was made specifically for the order that I had placed. It wasn't one that they were just getting in from somewhere else. So I was aware that that would take could take up to 12 months and that was fine. So I waited and waited and waited and we tried to get updates for it um, and there was just no information coming out of France at all about this bag. So we waited 12 months um, and then I said to my sales associate, what do you reckon? Is this going to happen? Because sometimes you will place orders and they're non-fulfillable and sometimes you can wait a really long time and then find out it's not fulfillable. And the fact that we couldn't get any answers on this at all was telling to us that it probably wasn't going to come in, that we weren't going to get it. So we, so I said, all right, well, let's just let it go. I don't want to fight um, with France about it. Let's just let it go. And I'll use the money that I've already paid for it towards something else. And at that exact same time, Romina Rose May, who has a channel here on YouTube, and I'll link her channel down below, had just bought this cap of scenes, and I was in love. So this is a Black Box Clough MM cap of scenes, and it's got a tortoiseshell handle. So I messaged my sales associates and went, have you seen this bag? Um, and he, one of them came back to me and he's like, this bag? And he had this bag in his hand. It had literally come into store in Sydney that day. And I was like, I want that bag, that, that bag, I want it. Um, and he's like, yeah, cool. It was the end of the day. He said, we'll do it tomorrow. No worries. So between that conversation with him, um, and the next morning he rang me and he said, listen, I've got to transact this, this bag, this one. He said, we've got like five people who want this bag. I've got sales associates from different states coming at me. They all want this bag. Um, you sure you want it? And if so, we've got to transact it. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. I definitely want it. Let's do it. Um, I said, but let's use the money that I paid for this one on that one. Um, and there'll be some money left over. And they're like, he's like, great, because that's super easy. Money's already sitting there. I'm just going to apply it across to that bag. And then it's out of the system and we stop getting phone calls about this one. Um, so that all happened um, and we all went on with our lives, no worries. So um, fast forward to about four weeks ago, three weeks ago, all the exotic um, finishes started to come through for next season. We st I started to get the photos of what was coming and what was going to be available in exotics and which types of bags. And this finish came up, this oil slick finish came up, but they were um, showing it in a petite mal. And I was like, oh, that's, that's really lovely. But it had super gold hardware, like really gold hardware. And I wasn't overly fussed on it, but I really loved the finish. So I said, all right, well, can we go back to Paris and let's do a special order um, with this finish? Because clearly the finish is now out there and they're using it for lots of bags. So let's do a special order and switch out the hardware for silver. My logical head says, isn't that so easy? You're already doing the petite mouths in this finish with a really gold hardware. All I want to do is switch it out for silver hardware, which is something you have in a drawer somewhere. Super easy. You would think. You would think no 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 <laughs> so I get a phone call from my sales associates um, like a week ago and they're like okay so we've got the quote back on the petite mail with the silver hardware and it's double the price and I was like excuse me and they're like yeah it's gonna be about twenty five thousand dollars to get that petite mail with a silver hardware and I went that's ridiculous that's like double what it costs and you already have the silver hardware. And they said, yeah, yeah, we can't explain it. There is no explanation for this, but that's what Paris is quoting us. So I was like, no, <laughs> I'm not doing that. There is no way I'm doing that. And they said, but funny story, something's arrived. So um, they sent me photos and it's this bag. And I said, 
that's my kappa scenes. That's the kappa scenes we ordered. And they said, yes, it's just randomly arrived. So um, because when it arrived, I had already used the money that was sitting in credit for other things, it was no longer assigned to me. But I was so incredibly lucky that one of the staff members at Sydney knew, saw, knew that I had ordered it and let it go didn't have the whole backstory, but knew enough to know that it was something that had been on my radar and I desperately wanted it. So scru squirreled it away, grabbed it before it went too viral because I knew that a few sales associates had put it up on their Instagram stories. S grabbed it, put it aside for me, found my sales associate and said, is this something that Meredith was after? I'm sure it is. And they said, yes, yes it is. So I am so incredibly grateful. And here it is. So it's a bizarre story, like out of nowhere, it just arrives 18 months after we ordered it and then let it go because no one could give us details on it. Um, it went through CITES as all exotics do here in Australia. It would have sat in CITES for a couple of months, but nobody could give us any information. And I was just gobsmacked that it just arrived, but apparently this is not uncommon. Sometimes these things happen. So here's my mini kappa scenes in the lizard finish in the oil slick and it's just i think that's showing up oh look at all those colors oh i just love it i really do i just love it i desperately wanted something in this finish lizard is an amazing exotic for um sheen finishes metallic finishes um, rainbow finishes. It's just fantastic for all of that. So yeah, Lizard is definitely, if you're into exotics, and I understand everyone is not, I like them, but if you're into exotics, Lizard is a fantastic exotic because it does such amazing, amazing things with color and it is, does not cost the earth. Okay. And that's highly um, important. It is not as expensive as Croc, nowhere near it. So Lizard's a great option. So let's go through some of my Kappa scenes because I've got a few now. So we've talked about this one my black box calf mm so this is the biggest size they do at the moment in a kappa scenes um the mm size and it is my biggest one and i just love the tortoise shell handle when romina rose may showed this and the tortoise shell handle and i love box um box calf like i just love a smooth finish i was like i need to own that so this is my black mm with the tortoise shell and then i've got a couple of bb's so I've got my um, Stardust collection BB in the um, purple with the pink through it. And I unbox that on this channel. And I love the mother of pearl detail on this. I just think it's beautiful and it's such a beautiful purple. So this one isn't that old. I got this a um, couple of months ago and I unboxed it on this channel. I'll link that box unboxing down below. So this is um, a newer one and that's the BB size. I also have this one. This one's probably, well, this one is my oldest um, Kappa scenes. So I bought this four years ago. Yeah, I want to say about four years ago. Um, and I saw it sitting on a shelf and I loved it. I think this is just the ultimate sunset bag. Um, I don't usually do orange or yellow very often. Yellow I'll do more than orange, but this sunset finish is just to die for. I love it. I take this out. I use it with lots of outfits that have these colors in it. Well, mainly pink for me. Um, and it's just a beautiful beautiful finish. So this is my Sunset Kappa scene in the BB. It's not really called Sunset, this is what I call it. And then we have this one. So this one has the most beautiful, beautiful beading detail on it and a blue ombre behind it. So I feel this came out towards the end of last year, so 2021. And my sales associate sent me po photos of it and I was like, oh my goodness, I need to own that because they just remind me of snowflakes um, and stars. And I just thought it was so stunningly beautiful, especially with that ombre blue. And it's just plain on the back. And I just loved it. And if you look at the um, clasp on it or the LV on it, it's actually really um, sparkly. It's not beaded or anything. They've just worked the metal to make it look like it sparkles. 
Um, you do have to be really careful with this one. I will say that because the beads can come off. So I am very, very careful with this one. I don't take it out very often, but it's just so pretty. So yeah, I call this my snowflake bag. And then we have from the Forsanetti um, collection when it came out. This was the Kappa scenes that was released with that and it's all beaded in these greens and pinks and crystals and then it's on a silver handbag so these are mini sizes but it was just I just loved this beading it's just so pretty it reminds me a little bit of um uh, the flapper era like I can see a woman wearing one of those flapper dresses with all the um fringing on them and carrying this bag that's that's what I see in my head when I see this bag um I'm a little crazy we all know that um but I just think this was just so beautiful um and I didn't get a lot for them from oh I got three pieces from the Forsanetti collection but this one didn't scream Forsanetti um but it was certainly part of that collection and it was really beautiful and then we have So this is my pink mink. <laughs> um, and when this came up, I mean, I love pink. We all know that. I love pink. Um, and it's mink. I love mink. And yeah, well, that's kind of where the story ends. <laughs> they said it's pink. They said it's mink. And I went, yeah, we'll have that. <laughs> so that was that was the whole story. Um, but it's just so pretty. And it's got the pink leather. And all of them have feet. So Capucines always have feet. Feet. Always have feet. There's no S on the end of that, Meredith. So yes, so that's my pink mink. <laughs> and then the last one that I have, and we'll put my little lizard up there now. There we go. So the last one I have for now, there are more coming, is this one. And sometimes I get asked, what is the most expensive handbag in my entire collection? This is the most expensive handbag in my collection for now. I won't tell you how much it cost, but it cost a lot because it is croc. So um, this one uh, came up uh, at my store and <laughs> I tell this story and my poor sales associate. Um, so my sales associate, one of my sales associates was in the lunchroom and there was talk between other sales associates how this hot pink croc capucines had come into store and he, he said I heard it but I didn't want to draw attention to myself so I just kind of put my lunch away and stood up and left the room and went and found it because I knew that you needed to see this so in my head I have this picture of a meerkat going <laughs> and then wandering out and if you knew my sales associate you'd understand that that's a very apt description of him and I love him to bits um but yes he went and found this and sent it to me and he's like oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, so yeah, it was um, love at first sight, so um, I don't name my bags, I don't give them pronouns um, at all, except for this one, we called this one Marilyn, because it reminded me of Marilyn Monroe, I don't know why, but this one is Marilyn, and I do actually have another croc piece coming, a very special order that I had done, and um, I can't wait to unbox that for you guys because that's been 12 months in the making and that will replace this as my most expensive bag. But for now, this is my Croc Capucines in the mini and it's in this hot pink colour and it's just beautiful. And Croc is surprisingly hard wearing. People talk about how you've got to be really careful with it. I'm really not all that careful with any of my um, exotics. They sit on the same shelves as the rest of my collection. They get treated the same way. Um, yeah, I mean, with the minks and the foxes, I'm probably a little bit more careful because they are, um, you know, they can get um, stained and, and things spilt on them. These are pretty hard wearing, I've got to say. The lizard and, and croc, yeah, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't be overly babying these. They're, they're pretty hard wearing. I mean, it's a lizard. It, it's, a, it's a crocodile. Like, <laughs> swims in water, eats things. It's, it's fine. So, yeah. So, they're all my capucines and my new beautiful 
mini capucines in the lizard in the oil slick finish. If you've liked today's unboxing and um, would like to see more of my unboxings and the special pieces I have coming towards the end of this year, please hit that subscribe button down below and give me a little thumbs up. Please come follow me over on Instagram. I'm putting up lots of reels around my collection at the moment. So if you're interested in seeing my vast collection, please come follow me over there. I'll throw my handle up for you. Um, I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.